Imagine a cosmic detective story unfolding across billions of years and galaxies. In the vast expanse of space, the James Webb Telescope has unveiled a breathtaking revelation. Galaxies that defy our understanding of cosmic evolution. Michio Kaku's words resonate with the discovery of galaxies so ancient and immense that they challenge everything we thought we knew about the universe's early days. It's a narrative where the stars themselves tell tales of unimaginable scale and beauty, rewriting the very textbooks that guide our exploration of the cosmos. The U.S. physicist Mikio Kaku suspects that we are now at the beginning of a new era and a new physics. This new physics could give more room to models such as string theory and the multiverse and finally bring us the solution to the Hubble tension. Michio Kaku is right when he laughingly comments on the latest discoveries of the Jadeus. Webb showed us galaxies that supposedly existed in the early universe, but they are so large and so evolved that they must have been formed before the Big Bang. There has already been evidence in science that the universe as we imagine it does not completely match reality. You may have heard of the Hubble bias, a measurement in accuracy in determining the rate of expansion of the universe. This problem has been known since the 1990s, and no one has been able to solve the puzzle. Now, Webb relentlessly shows us that there are other things wrong with our cosmology and astrophysics. We may have been wrong on many levels. The Big Bang cannot possibly have taken place 13.8 billion years ago, if only 250 million years after it there were already galaxies on the move in the cosmos, which, as Keku points out, are larger than our Milky Way. According to our current understanding, galaxy evolution is a complex process that takes billions of years to produce galaxies like our Milky Way. Webb discovered dozens of these ancient, beautifully shaped, and large galaxies. Each one poses a puzzle to scientists. But not only that, Webb also showed us images of very large black holes that contain more than a billion solar masses just 500 million years after the supposed Big Bang. All these findings show us that our scientific understanding was wrong, and the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope triggered one of the biggest crises in modern cosmology. Ten times bigger than the Milky Way, Mikio Kaku laughs when he points out that some of the newly discovered galaxies appear up to ten times larger than the Milky Way. The popular astrophysicist from the USA is one of the researchers who have long pointed out that our science has important gaps. His theories, which envisaged a unification of quantum field theories with the astrophysics of large phenomena, such as stars and galaxies, were not taken seriously in conservative scientific circles. It's precisely these conservative camps that now have a huge problem because their rigid views of the cosmos and their ideas about the evolution of matter and the Big Bang are tottering. Instead, we will get a new physics and thanks to Webb, we may discover completely new aspects of our universe. They really can't say that they didn't know anything because, in addition to the Hubble telescope, there were already a number of other indications before Webb that the old idea of the Big Bang and expansion cannot be entirely correct. Even the old Hubble Space Telescope discovered some suspicious points of light in the supposedly early universe. One of these discoveries was the galaxy known as GZ9P3. Hubble only recognized the galaxy as a very vague spot of light, which was undoubtedly there but did not allow any more precise analyses. Only Webb shed light on the darkness and took another look at GZ9P3. It turned out that this light was really emitted by a very old galaxy. Under Webb's sharp eyes, the galaxy showed a redshift of Z equals 9.3, which means nothing less than that. We are looking at a galaxy that existed only 510 million years after the Big Bang. This means that GZ9P3 is also a primordial galaxy that is far more massive and mature than would be expected for its age. The galaxy also shows some anomalies that give researchers food for thought. It has a strange shape with two bright spots revealing its two dense cores. This suggests that we are actually looking at two galaxies and that we are witnessing a galaxy merger in the supposedly early universe. Mergers of two primordial galaxies in the early universe would not be unusual. 
But even if we consider these two galaxies separately, they are too large and too evolved to be truly baby galaxies in a young cosmos by our old standards. It takes billions of years for galaxies to reach this level of maturity, but we see the galaxy as it was 510 million years after the Big Bang. The galaxy is dominated by young bright stars, and researchers have found specific elements, such as silicon, carbon, and iron that indicate older stars. These elements are not typical of the first stars. They only formed after many epochs of stellar evolution. This fact also speaks against us seeing the young galaxy here. As you can see, something cannot be right here. And scientists have not yet found the solution to the problem. The discovery of more old stars suggests that stars formed earlier and enriched the universe with metals faster. The old stars in GZ9P3 may also show that the galaxy matured chemically faster than thought, or we may have been wrong about the age of the universe. And this is where the Hubble tension comes back into play. Is expansion a lie? Did you know that the expansion of the universe has never been fully proven? The idea that the universe is expanding is a theory for which there was significant evidence, but problems with this theory soon emerge. Expansion is one of the cornerstones of our modern cosmology. In the 1920s, it was like a revolution, just as Webb is revolutionizing our view of the world today. Let us consider for a moment how this realization came about, what evidence supports it, and what contradictions or inconsistencies there are. The first indication of the expansion of the universe came from Vesto Melvin Sliver, an American astronomer who studied the spectral lines of galaxies in the 1910s and found that many of them exhibited a redshift. This indicated that these galaxies were moving away from us. However, the decisive breakthrough came in 1929 when Edwin Hubble, also an American astronomer, discovered the relationship between the distance of galaxies and their escape velocity. Edwin Hubble used the Doppler effect to measure the speeds of galaxies and found that more distant galaxies were moving away from us faster. This led to the formulation of Hubble's law, which states that the speed at which a galaxy moves away from us is proportional to its distance. For a long time, this law was regarded as the first clear proof that the universe is expanding. In addition to the redshifts, there is further evidence for the expansion of the universe. The Cosmic Microwave Background, CMB, for short, is the background radiation of the universe dating back to when the universe was about 380,000 years old. It was discovered in 1965 by Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson. The uniform temperature distribution of this radiation in all directions indicates that the universe was once much denser and hotter and has been expanding ever since. Further evidence was the so-called Big Bang nucleosynthesis, which states that the abundance of light elements, such as hydrogen and helium formed in the early universe, is consistent with predictions of an expanding universe. Despite this evidence, there are also contradictions and unresolved questions about the idea of expansion. The most interesting of these is the Hubble tension. Kaku does not see the Big Bang as the definitive beginning of everything. If it really did exist, it was only the start of our universe, which is just one of many.